A lot of people ask us, do you think data is the new gold? The answer to that question is both yes and no. There are two arguments for no. First, the supply of data is essentially unconstrained. Cisco estimates 847 zettabytes of data will be generated in 2021, and much of this data is actually of limited value. It is far from information, let alone what we would call knowledge. It's hard for something to be gold when there is an essentially unconstrained supply of a commodity with questionable value. Second, without context, data is worthless. In and of itself, data per se has no inherent value. And in fact, if it is interpreted inaccurately, data can end up doing more harm than good. There are numerous examples of spurious correlations and data leading otherwise smart people to bad conclusions. Take the 2016 US presidential race, where every single poll had Hillary Clinton beating Donald Trump. All the data pointed in one direction, but the final result was actually the opposite. This highlights a second problem. Data sometimes can actually lead to incorrect conclusions, not just in politics, but in business too. On the flip side, data can be extraordinarily valuable when it is deployed, and here is the critical point, via a business model that generates value. For example, Australian airline Qantas has been extremely effective at building business models to extract value from its underlying data, such as its frequent flyer program. In 2018, Qantas's data monetization generated an underlying EBIT of $372 million with a profit margin of 24%. What this means is that data generated margins that almost double the margin of Qantas's domestic network and four times higher than its international margins. Earnings from Qantas's data are growing at seven times the speed of the rest of its business. If you look at Qantas' history, in many ways, the ability of Qantas to leverage and monetize its data was what actually saved the airline from bankruptcy in the late 2000s. Today, it is estimated that data represents half the value of the entire Qantas business. A great example of how data can be a very critical driver of value. So the question to ask is not, is data the new gold, but rather, can you develop a business model that enables you to utilize data in a way that generates a material commercial outcome? At a high level, there are four key business models that companies use to make money from data or to generate a business outcome through data utilization. First up are the data users like Zara and Amazon who use data to inform decisions and deliver better products. Second are data suppliers like Equifax or Nielsen who gather, aggregate, and ultimately sell that data. Third, data delivery networks such as Google and Facebook, who use data to deliver an advertising platform to better target their marketing. And lastly, there are data facilitators like Amazon Web Services and Palantir, who supply the tools and infrastructure to collect, analyze, and store data. These are the people selling picks and shovels to everyone else digging for data gold. The key point here is that data only has value in the context of a business model that generates value, 